give it up for David F. Grave. Come on. The subtlety in which my dad can drop something terrifying into conversation is truly astounding. Okay? I'll give you an example. A few weeks ago, both myself and my dad were standing in the hallway of my flat, staring into my airing cupboard. Yeah. We had very little to say to each other. <laughs> well, my dad walked up to it, looked at the big bit of solid material that screwed to the inside of the door, gave it a tap and went, yeah, it's probably asbestos. <laughs> <laughs> so if my life were a film, it would cut to one of those shots where the person stays centre of frame and the background just zooms out. <laughs> if my face were animated by Terry Gilliam, it could happen, it could happen. My bottom jaw would have just disengaged completely. <laughs> Ten years I've been living in that flat. Ten years, and all that time I had absolutely no idea. My cupboard was giving me cancer. <laughs> just think of all the times I innocently hung my towels up in there to dry. And then got up the following morning, just rubbed my face in there. <laughs> really rubbed it in, really got it in there. <laughs> Not just my towels, every item of clothing and bed sheets in my house has rested against the inside of that door at some point. I may as well have broken into a factory built in the mid 50s, dislodged some lagging from the roof, and just rolled myself up in it. <laughs> I didn't know that I owned a closet to death. <laughs> and by sitting with the close proximity to me now, you probably could, she's contracted it now. <laughs>